Hey guys, I've got an exercise for you today. You can also treat it like a bit of a challenge. Uh, it's based around metric modulations. Okay, if you don't know what a metric modulation is, the best way I can explain it to you, this is the way that I kind of got my head around it. Um, say you start with a tempo, any tempo, uh, and you play a polyrhythm over the top of that tempo. So the way I think about it is you've got your tempo, and a polyrhythm, in a sense, is just another tempo stuck on top, but it's based around dotted notes. So you've got your old tempo, polyrhythm goes on top, works as a polyrhythm for a bit, and then take away the original tempo, and you're left with this new tempo which you can go and play along with afterwards. I will demonstrate this between the snare and the floor tom, so the snare is the original tempo, floor tom will come in. New tempo on the floor tom, go off and play with that tempo. So, the exercise or the challenge is, I'm going to start with a four on the floor standard groove, and then I'm going to change the kick drum pattern to the polyrhythm. Then I'm going to take my hands away, and then you'll be left with this new tempo on the kick. I'm going to bring my hands back and adapt to that new tempo. I will demonstrate it right now. I hope that made sense, so I took away the hands, you were left with that new tempo, bring the hands back, now playing in this new tempo. That's the exercise. The challenge is to see how many times you can go through that metric modulation. So obviously you're going to be left with this new tempo, that'll be your tempo now, obviously. You're then going to play the polyrhythm again over it. So a faster polyrhythm, or faster tempo, which acts like a polyrhythm. Then you're going to adapt and keep adding the polyrhythm, adapting, adding the polyrhythm, adapting. So I'm going to start really slowly, then see how many metric modulations I can get through. That is pretty much the limit that I can do. I probably could have started a bit slower. Uh, what you can even do is, rather than taking your hands off and trying to get used to that new tempo, you can try and skip that little step and move straight into the new tempo, okay? Based on that polyrhythm. This is kind of how I like a lot of jazz drummers. I don't really like jazz music, but a lot of jazz drummers tend to use this just to play over a few bars, a new tempo, and then they'll normally drop back to uh, the original tempo, but this is just going meh, 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 meh. so I'm going to give it a go without that little take your hands off, get used to the new tempo, I'm just going to try and go straight into the new tempo
Obviously it doesn't sound musically good at all, so don't go and try and suggest it to your guitarist as an idea for a band or, you know, just for fun, something to do with another drummer maybe, use it how you like. Okay, hope you enjoyed it, hope it's useful in some way for you, and I'll see you next time.